Hello and welcome to the game my wonderful community. In today's video, now listen, we are going to be looking at yes, cues. That means continue. It's an extension of the previous video from the introduction you've clearly seen. Yes, a lot of DJs have sent me videos asking me, ah, how do you do this type of transitioning? How? I'm sure you are beginning to see me do it here now. You know, that's how it is. And you are surprised. Don't worry, we are just starting. By the time we finally get to the permanent side, you will not even know where exactly you are again. Uh, 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 uh. The earlier you follow, the better. That is how I do my things. So, we are going to be looking at cues, what you can do with cues, especially cue points, and how far it can go. You need to understand that I'll be looking at three basic things that you can be able to do with cue points. Okay, tell me. That, and I will be giving you an additional one at the end. So, you get to look at them one after the other. So, when it comes to cue points, remember, your entire essence of mixing or doing DJ mixes, whether at an event, at a club, or whatsoever it is, you want to maintain that continuity in the flow of the reading or in the in the interaction between you and the audience where they continue to enjoy what you are doing. But for you to do that, you must have all your tracks set having Q point. Q point is the starting point of the track. That means you want the song to always start at a particular point. And you must have the ability to remember all those points that and what you want to do, the style you want to introduce. Just the way you see how I transition from that track, from this deck one to this deck two. So what you do is, these are the three basic things you'll be able to do with cue points. The first point that you can do with cue point is this. Let me stop this track. Like the case of the later H, I have a particular starting point I want, which is the first cue point. It allows you to start the song and play it to infinity. That means the song can play till it finishes by just a single tab. Look at it. So in this case, this track is starting. It can play continuously to whatsoever. The most important thing, it doesn't have an end. But if it has an end, it will definitely stop when it gets to the end. Or if it is on the loop, it will continue repeating the loop until maybe there is no more power on the system. That is the beauty of the DJ gears. Whether on the software, that means on the software or on the controller. That is the entire essence of the first cue point that you are setting. And you have to be mindful because this thing will determine the effectiveness of how you start the track, how you flow, and even how you play around other things. That is the first part. The second part is it gives you the ability to control how you start the track. That means the length at which you want the track to play. Look at it. Look at the letter C. The moment I leave my hand, it stops. Look at it again. It stops. So this controls. There are a lot of variables that are associated with this. It's beyond just what some people think is just a particular line of code stretch. Because there are a lot of things that are involved that goes on at the background that you don't know. Especially if you are not a software developer, you will not know. Because there are what we call the variables and a host of other stuff that control this particular action. Which will determine how long you want it to stay before it continues or how long it will. So a lot of things are involved. That is why if you ask me for some of these things, I tell you I can't give you pieces because I know what is involved. Because all these things must interact smoothly for you to get the type of result you are seeing me do here. Just the way it goes on on your deck. Most of these things are not operating individually. There are a lot of interaction that are going on while you are pressing all those buttons on it, while you are doing so many things. So if you think it's about getting the, the crossfader knob and it's enough for you to be a DJ, I wish you best of luck. So the next point we are going to look at is the transition base. Look at it. I'm going to start the same track again. Look at it. Look at my hand. Look at my hand. I have a hand on alternate and I'm going to be moving it one and front. Look at it. Then look at my second hand. So you can see how I am able to move. So this is the transition base that you are able to control. So these things are very, very powerful if you really understand how these things work. So that means it requires a lot of interaction to be going on between these keys. That means it takes beyond just getting one mapping and thinking you have gotten everything. Because the essence of DJing is to ensure that you have everything working smoothly. It's not for you to just map the device. If it is about mapping the device, everybody will go and design its own controller. Yes. After all, what is what does it take? That is why you see the cost of those DJ gears are very, very expensive. Yes, that is the truth. So all those things are beyond just what you are seeing on the surface. 
the same thing when it comes to the concept of the mapping it's beyond just what you think it's just because if you don't have the proper arrangement from the beginning you're already at failing point you are going to be making a complete mess of what you are doing so the next point that we are going to be looking at is this where it gives you the flexibility to do a lot of complicated things like what some of you will see me that you always come back and be asking me mapping for this mapping for this this is the same track that is playing just what i'm going to do now so let's go back to it again the first track look at it this is it so you can see it's going normal but by the time i begin to put in some vibe inside look at it So you can see how I am introducing some vibe into it just with little little stuff. So most of the time as DJs we underestimate what these mappings can do that is why. We think it's something that you can just be typing random things anyhow on the keyboard and be moving about. It's beyond just that. So that is why you can clearly see I'm doing these things. Everything I'm doing here is practical base you can see. There are not things that a lot of people have tried to interact with me when I go on live video with them, they get to see that it's actually 100%. So there is nothing really hitting there. Although I understand I'm still working on more updates. Some of the things you are seeing here are some new updates that are coming up on this. So I'm going to be putting in more and by the time I'm done with everything set, it's going to be available and get a dedicated video for you to get it. Though it might cost a little fee, but for those who don't have it at the initial stage, so you might get to appreciate what I'm doing here. So that is how these things work. I believe you get to learn something in this particular video. You can clearly see. So in summary, this is what you have learned so far in this particular video. That means being playing the track continuously, just the way you tap. If not, what is the difference between if all DJ gears all they do is to play track continuously like this, the way you go and play DJ mix, then what is the sense of using a radio cassette? Yes, everybody would have gotten a radio cassette and play music the way they want because the concept of radio cassette is almost so similar. It plays the track from the beginning to the end and that is all. And even just playing the track to the beginning to the end, as simple as that may appear, there are a lot of things that are going on. The moment you press that play button on that radio cassette that a lot of you don't know. Yes, it takes somebody who studied the entire concept of this working of these devices to know what is going on. So when it comes to this very particular point again, the control base of the hot queue that means of the queue so it does the just as i showed you where you start and you determine where it stops then you have the transition base where you play around with the hot cues to then you have the aspect of the pitching where you play around with the pitchings and the rest of them so there are more coming and i'm going to be giving you more update on this i believe you learned something in this particular video so catch you in my next video and don't forget to keep it there. don't forget to keep subscribe as i continue to bring you Fire! <laughs>